ओके सो वॉट इज अ डिवाइस ड्राइवर डिवाइस ड्राइवर इज नथिंग बट ए सिंपल प्रोग्राम और सॉफ्टवेयर इसे सिंपल प्रोग्राम दट ऑपरेट और कंट्रोल ए पर्टर टाइप ऑफ डिवाइस दट इज अटैच टू ए कंप्यूटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम यूजिंग दिस माई माउस आई एम यूजिंग माई माउस ओके I'm using this my mouse. Okay, so I am operating. So how my operating system you can understand? In you know, operating system kernel has a specific program that is used to understand my mouse. I'm using keyboard. I'm using a printer connected, or maybe I have a audio like I am speaking. So that is observed by mic. But how it will be processed? That is by audio chip. how audio chip can able to function it is can able to work based on your operating system contains a specific drivers files which with the help of this drivers file or drivers program your operating system can able to communicate with the device device driver in a computing refer to a special kind of software program uh, don't go with a special kind it's a simple software program or a simple uh, program it is not a that controls specific uh, hardware device that enables different hardware device to communicate with the computer operating system so yesterday we discussed about an operating system so here it is we have a hardware and we have an operating system and we have a users right for example you are playing a song you are playing a song using vlc player that is an application to run this application of course we need a operating system but you want to listen to the song that is connected to the speakers okay how the sound will go to the speaker in your motherboard there is a audio chip this audio chip will process your song related information into the wave format and it is given to your speakers but this is cannot be understand by us right this cannot be understand by us like how to give it to this part and this will go to your uh, op os in os kernel interact with your hardware at a kernel part these device drivers means that audio drivers will help your operating system kernel to interact with this device okay so os kernel is used to interact with your hardware but not every type of hardware uh, chip it cannot understand so certain type of hardware chips like a maybe audio uh, sorry certain type of devices required a additional software so if you install that one so with help of that one operating system can able to communicate with it for example you purchase a fresh desktop or a laptop no drivers install so you have to install a drivers inside like you remove entire os clean your entire os or maybe you change your hard disk so you install os then you have to install the certain device drivers like a audio drivers video drivers graphical drivers related network uh, adapter related drivers also you have to install okay once again guys os kernel is interact with your hardware hardware means entire your hardware thing not only cpu ram bios motherboard on motherboard components all hardware components can be understand and communicate with the operating system can it manages your hardware you can able to communicate with your hardware components using kernel only and your os is kernel may not be understand certain hardware devices so that hardware devices related drivers if you install 
So the, with the help of these device drivers, it's nothing but a, a simple program. It is nothing but a simple software program which helps your operating system to communicate with the specific device. Okay. So this is the thing like you connect your keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, like your pen drive, you are connected. Okay. On the motherboard, you have audio chip, graphic cards, and ICs. Yeah, tell me something if someone is trying to say. Sir, please attend my mark my attendance, sir. Yeah, you came late now. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, understand what is a device drivers? It is a a computer program. It is nothing but a program or a software that helps your operating system to communicate are communicate are uh, use uh, uh, so what happened so we can able to operate or communicate or controls a specific device simply device drivers are used once device drivers are uh, with the help of device drivers our operating system able to communicate with the, our hardware devices to the specific devices. The, so you have a specific like audio chip having audio drivers that specific company related drivers are there. Graphic card like for example, you purchase a graphic card, you install a graphic card in your uh, desktop. Hmm? So to work with it, you need to download uh, that device related drivers and install it. So then you can able to communicate. You have a printer, you attached a printer to your laptop and now you want to take a print. It may not be get it, but how you can able to get it? So you attach a printer and you have to install the printers, drivers related, printers related drivers you have to install. Okay. So that is the part of device drivers. To communicate with a device, the voice needs a driver based on that device. One second, guys. So I have to mute sometimes. Okay, so understand what is the use of these device drivers, guys? Hmm? Yes, sir. Here it is. Example I'm giving, you connect a printer. So I have taken a printer. Okay, so I have a printer. So I have a PC and I have a printer. Now I connected a printer to my PC. So for example, in my laptop, two printer drivers are already installed. One is HP related, okay, HP 1005 or 1007 model printer drivers are already installed, okay? So when I want to take a print, when I want to take a print, what I have to do? I'll take my laptop and connect a printer with a cable. I turn on my printer. I turn on my printer. So obviously, my system, obviously, my system 
will recognize what device is connected. So when I connect and turn on my printer, what it is my system will do? There is a device is connected. There is some device is connected with the help of plug and play service. Plug and play service. What is a plug and play service? What it will do? When you attach or detach any hardware to your system, this plug and play will try to recognize the device. Okay. Plug and play device. Like you connect a USB. Plug and play will run and see this what is something is connected to USB. Is it a pen drive or is it a external hard disk? It is a printer. Like that, it will try to recognize. Using plug and play, our system will try to recognize there is a device is connected to this particular USB. And what type of device it is. Okay. Then it will find it is a kind of printer with this model. And this system will search in the drivers list. Inside our system, we have a lot of drivers are installed. Audio, video, keyboard related, mouse related, or like different devices drivers are there. Different printers drivers also there. It search for the this printers model related drivers. In my PC, I said already I installed. I already installed in my PC. So what happened? What happened? It load the drivers. It load the drivers. So loading drivers means it uh, it is going to take these drivers with the help of these drivers. Our system can able to communicate with a printer. You given a print. You given a print job here. The print job will be given to the printer and you will get a print. So how can we able to communicate like this? For example, yeah, that that is actually a good example. You know, in a in a olden days when we use uh, operating system 98 operating system, Windows 98, Windows 97, that time also there is USB things are there. If you attach a USB port to your system separately, they will provide some drivers for that USB pen drive. You have to install drivers, then only you can able to connect that particular USB. Okay, otherwise you can't access. But in XP, within the XP operating system, they put a lot of different model USB drivers, generic USB related drivers inside. So when you attach a print, uh, pen drive, automatically it will recognize. Most of the time it will recognize until unless it is completely different type of uh, device it is, it won't recognize. But most of the pen drives will recognize automatically because of built-in USB drivers inside. Okay. But sometimes in operating systems, for certain devices, the device drivers are not available. So you have to download and install those device drivers okay if it is installed and we can able to communicate with our devices you connect a printer our OS does not know how to communicate to the printer install the printer driver so that now we OS knows how to communicate with the printer so you can do the print jobs okay Okay, guys, up to here. The next one is device management. The next one is a device management. So here I am going to show you, or otherwise I will show you like this. Yeah. Dev mgmt.msc you can open a device management window like this okay or you can use a control panel also directly you can go to the control panel in that way there you can find a device manager so this also opens your device manager. 
what is the use of this device manager we can manage our devices their drivers okay from here from the device manager for example you attach a device and it will be listed first of all you see there is a plug and play service is there if I, when i click and i select this and see that it is showing scanning plug and play compliant hardware like that okay so what it is doing it is when you attach a device the plug and play service inside your system try to find what device is attached then it will try to load drivers if it is available inside your operating system if it is not available if it is not available then what it will do it will put a one qu big question mark here or a triangle mark this is unknown device this device drivers are not available like that it will shows okay so that is what it is and uh, as i said we can able to manage certain devices see it is there is a device audio video batteries computer disk related cd dvd related human interface monitors network adapters it's a printers there is already two printers are installed inside okay so like this we can able to view our devices and also we can able to manage the device drivers so this is my network adapter i can update the drivers i can disable the drivers i can uninstall the drivers if i go to the properties it will show other things you can see general tab the device is working properly means the specific device the drivers and function of the device is also working properly device as well as the drivers are good okay if you see go to the advanced this is the device related settings hardcore set, hardware settings it is drivers if you see in this list guys the who is providing these drivers depends upon the manufacturer of this device is actually providing drivers and it is recognized and signed by the microsoft microsoft give a digital signature on the device driver so then it is a genuine drivers digital signature is missing means it's not a genuine drivers digital signature is there by the microsoft means the drivers are genuine drivers this is a driver's details where this particular device drivers are located windows system 32 drivers that is a driver's name you can update the drivers for example if you see the driver date and the driver version date is showing a very little little older one in case you want to update the drivers click on the update drivers either you click like a search automatically for a drivers or browse your computer in case in your system you have a drivers updated dri updates are the driver updates are available you can search in your system or you can scan up automatic so if you click this second option so what will happen when windows is getting updated through the windows update it will be updated if it is a new version is available then only it will update it this is update driver. sometimes by updating the performance of device will improve sometimes after updating the function of the device is not working okay device may not be work or not properly work after update what you can able to do you updated guys listen carefully if you update device drivers the device work better as compared to earlier device can work better as compared to earlier but sometimes device may not work properly a device is not at all working what you will do what we can able to do it we can go to roll back the drivers 
this option roll back the drivers it means if in case you change the drivers or update the drivers after that when your device is not working or not properly working you can able to roll back the drivers to the previous one so previous scene is working better like a, you know <laughs> so you think uh, your bike is slow and you done some changes and it is now not working which is better so the slow one is better compared to not working okay it's not like that simply i am trying to say it is after update in case it is not working you can roll back to the previous understand guys update and roll back a very deep silent yes sir okay disable device i am doing some process or maybe your device is having some trouble or maybe i am doing some other uh, process this device is interrupting that process maybe virtually or physically the device is interrupting the process or it is keep on throwing some errors in that cases i can disable the device for a certain period of time <coughs> like you disable and keep it aside or maybe there is a device no longer required to work it is not required now it is not at all required so i can able to disable for example if you see this is a printer so i don't require this printer at right now it is working properly but a device is i am not having now i can able to i can't able to do anything with it so what i will do it i will disable this printer okay if you disable drivers are there but device is not work so can you see down arrow mark it represent the device is disabled of course you can enable it if you required also that is disabling the drivers and another one is uninstall the device it means if device is no longer available drivers are there but device is disconnected or removed from your system or disconnected from your system no longer required so what you can able to do it you can uninstall the drivers okay you can uninstall the drivers click on the uninstall see it is now it is gone it is gone from here okay so this is called a device management some point in the device management okay so how to open this device manager you can go to control panel and go to device manager or run our search devmgmt.msc or in a search device manager like this this is a one screenshot so to if you have any issues regarding the devices go to the device manager look for that what type of devices are networking related so check under network adapters is it a um, uh, printers related check under printers is it a some disk related go to the storage related places and see that working status is a working or not working okay go to general tab can you see right click properties you can see working status and see the symbols is it down arrow mark or a rectangle uh, yellow mark it is showing it means the drivers missing or disabled kind of stuff okay so device is working or not working what is the error code it is showing okay then also check the for the drivers if required if required update the drivers so then maybe the device may work better maybe after updating it is not working you can roll back the drivers or if device is no longer uh, not required right now so you can able to disable it also. okay and uh, here it is a point here it is a point in case a device is showing 
not working or working or not working properly like your network adapter or a printer kind of stuff. It is showing working, but not really working. It's showing working, but not really working. It's showing not working. So you have to investigate why it is not working. So it's a device physical problem or driver's problem. Physically, the device is not working. Actually, it's got corrupted. Or maybe it is can be a driver's related issues. So what we can able to do it, go to the device manager, go to the device, open device properties general tab. So make sure it is working, not working. Check for error statuses. OK, try update. If issue is resolved, good. If it is not working, roll back. The last point is uninstall it. OK. Uninstall the drivers. Uninstall the drivers. When you are uninstalling, sometimes it will shows. When you are uninstalling, Sometimes it shows, do you want to remove entire drivers from the system or just uh, uh, temporarily kind of stuff? OK, we don't remove from your system. Simply uninstall the drivers, restart the PC. When it is restarting, it reload the drivers again. Sometimes in the drivers file, it can be in a corruption or maybe a conflicts will be generated. So what you will do? So just go to the device manager. Click on the device, right click properties. OK, or maybe right click uninstall the drivers. And restart your PC when you restart it. So system will recognize freshly what is the device and it will reload the drivers from your operating system location only. OK, it may work. It may. And here it is, see, yellow mark, unknown device. Can you see the error? The drivers or device are not installed. It is code 28. And there is no compatible drivers for this device. Means within the system also, compatible drivers for particular devices not there. To find the drivers from this file, check update drivers. Click on the update drivers and try to update from Microsoft updates or maybe if you have any file related to that device, then you can able to go to that location and select it. OK, so this is about your device drivers, guys. So device manager is to manage your devices. So if you add any new device or maybe an existing device to. To understand and communicate to work with the particular device. We need a device drivers. OK, without a device drivers, our operating system may not understand and cannot communicate to the specific device. OK, so that is the point. So device manager with the help of device manager, you can see the devices. You can able to update the drivers, roll back the drivers, disable the drivers, uninstall the drivers. Sometimes you can able to go to check device status by is it working or not working if you have any issues with a specific device. Go to device manager. Go to the particular device right click go to properties and general tab you can see the device is working or not working. Sometimes it will shows working sometimes not working even it is showing working but not actually it is not working. So what you can able to do either you do update or a rollback kind of stuff. And it is a last solution is actual solution that is uninstall the drivers, restart your PC. So then when you're uninstalling, select no, like a permanently I don't you should not remove it. Generally, okay. If it is required, then you can also remove permanently. Right click. Okay, so uninstall drivers, restart your PC. Drivers will be reloaded again. So then the device may work. <coughs> Even I have troubleshoot my network adapter like that only. What I have done, so I configured everything. Network configuration is perfectly correct configured. But I am unable to ping or unable to communicate. I don't understand. I check the firewall. Everything is correct. But only there is a problem. 
that is the adapter uh, drivers related issue is there somewhere it is the drivers are also showing correctly but still not functioning as it is what i have done i right click uninstall the drivers i restarted my pc and it is working again okay so this is about your device drivers guys understand up to here device drivers how to manage device drivers okay the next part i am going to show you that how to add a printer it's just just to relax for a 5 minutes like uh, 3:30 i am going to start again just a five minutes relax have some water uh, or a tea 